Um, Nina, I watched the premiere last night. You are an absolute star. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I loved it. I Did you like it? <laughs> I, let me tell you, I've been watching Housewives for as long as it's been on. And I think your cast, Thanks. it has something so special. You guys are so dynamic. You're so glamorous. You're so funny. I absolutely loved it. And I have, I, yeah, please, I mean, I have to ask you, you know, what is going to set Dubai apart from any other housewife city? Oh, wow. I think, you know, uh, Dubai is different. Obviously, we're not in the U.S., we're in the Middle East. But I think there's been so many misconceptions about what Dubai is, how the people are here. And uh, I've been now here living in Dubai for 11 years from the U.S. So um, I can just tell you, if you come to Dubai, you'll see that it's a melting pot of people. Uh, everyone's here from different parts of the world, different cultures, different religions, but we all just co-live, co coexist together in the most beautiful way. It's clean, it's safe. It's like, you know, in the US you have your weekend and that's when people usually gather. In Dubai, it's like every day is the weekend. Um, but there's just so much to do, so much to do. You guys are all so incredibly glamorous and funny and you know it's interesting I think that most of the Bravo community knows Miss Caroline Stanberry mm -hmm. and it was kind of it was really interesting to watch the two of you's dynamic I mean because we we know Caroline to be um you know she was on Ladies of London and the first scene with you two I just found I found you both so funny together so you know what how is how did you like kind of meet Caroline and how did you guys because you guys are a little bit you know kind of opposites how did you guys kind of form such a close friendship yes uh, we are definitely opposites and to be uh, to be honest, Caroline and I have known each other for years, you know, since she's moved here, we've run in the same, you know, circle, we have the same friends, we go to the same events, get invited to the same types of uh, parties and events, like I said, but um, it's funny, we just started really hanging out more, and I think we be, we just built this bond out of nowhere because had you asked me previously, I would have told you she's not my cup of tea, but having spent a lot of time with her, it's just like, we laugh. Like we just sit here and we laugh till this day. We're like on the phone all the time, all day long. Uh, and we just say things to each other and we laugh and we motivate each other and we're total opposites. That's the funny thing. I mean, she's one way, I'm completely another way, but together we're like, dynamic you know completely and it comes off so great on the show you guys are like kind of like a this unexpected comedy duo I love it mm -hmm. um but you know it's interesting putting your life out there kind of on tv is not an easy task and it is a little bit nerve-wracking so did you have any hesitations going into this about kind of putting it all out there on tv um, yes and no, because my life right now, I've been, you know, I've been in social media, you know, I'm, I've been doing this for gosh, since 2012 on Instagram. So my life is somewhat out there. It just it wasn't out there to this level where the camera is following me around. But, you know, people know, who, at least in Dubai, people knew who I am. They knew who my family was, who my kids were. Um, so yes and no, it, it's definitely another level. It's like one notch up, but it's something that we kind of already had one foot in as well. So for many years. Well, I loved in the first episode, you host a dinner party and I absolutely loved how before everyone came in, you were staging the room and you had your crystals, which I love. I'm such a big healer and like loving all of that energy so how did you kind of throughout the season maintain that like calm healing energy and kind of there's oh. chaos around you oh Molly it oh, was my. hard <laughs> sure. it was really hard because I don't know I've just kind of been in my own zen bubble for so long and then you know sometimes 
when you're with a group of women, it's just sometimes not all of us are on the same level when we're talking, when we're thinking, opinions get thrown out, people react. And I'm just usually like, you could say something to me and attack me and I'm like, eh, you know, but how do I, it was, it was like a roller coaster. Um, and I have to say, I don't think my sage really helped when it came to this group of women. <laughs> I know I felt that I was like oh no I was like I want a <laughs> refund I need to go get a refund because this stage is not working clearly <laughs> at least not all these girls we need more yes. oh seriously I think I just needed to like just have a pool of crystals <laughs> oh my goodness well I I think the greatest treat about the this, this show coming out is really that like the really dedicated Housewives fans, you know, we've seen so many cities, we've been kind of with the same cities for so long. And I really think that your group is exactly what we need right now. You guys are all so outspoken, funny, fashionable, glamorous. You, it seems like you all have known each other for a little bit. Um, but who are the people, who are the girls in the cast that you automatically gelled with right away previously? Um, you know, I've pretty much known everyone, definitely got closer to a few. Um, but I've like, like I said, I've known Caroline for years. We've run, you know, we've always at the same uh, events and stuff. I've known Lisa for a while. I've known Sarah for a while. Um, Ayan, I've seen, you know, at certain events and stuff. Brooks, uh, I've just gotten a bit more closer to her as we've filmed together. Um, but I would say maybe Lisa and Sarah are the ones that I would like I was much, much closer to before we started, just right. because I've known them way longer, right. way longer, known them way longer. It was just so great as a Housewives fan to see that you guys, like, these were real friendships and real relationships. It's not like we're just, like, thrown together, which I thought was so interesting. No, no, no. We all, we all have somehow were connected, yeah. where we've seen each other, hung out with each other. And Dubai is a city that's, like, you know, we're all social butterflies going out and seeing each other. And it's a small city. So everybody knows who's who. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was so fabulous. But I have to ask you, too. Were you had you been like a Housewives fan before? Like, have you? Yes. Like, you were? Yes. Since the I want to say the OGs of the Housewives. Orange oh, County. my gosh. Uh, yes, I was watching. Granted, I haven't watched any of the franchises in this past six years. Do you believe that? Like, I'm oh, on God. the show. And instead of catching up to know what's going on, I haven't. The last time I watched anything was when I was giving birth in the US to my son, which oh, was six years ago. Oh my so goodness. I just I don't really have time to watch TV, to be honest. But when I was living in the US, I didn't miss anything. I watched all of them, like all of them. No, I'm a bravoholic. I love <laughs> it. I think that's good, though, that you haven't seen them because it keeps you so fresh. Like you, especially, yeah. especially your storyline, I felt like you were really just so authentic and really kind of like almost like narrating us through the group. You really do seem to be that kind of like level headed, um, almost like really peacemaker in the group, which I think is so nice. Yeah, that's I get called that all the time. <laughs> I'm, yes. like, I'm like the one in the middle of it all trying to like, you know, zen and calm everyone down. Um, oh but my yeah, I, I. No, I absolutely got that bad. So wait, when you were watching Bravo, what was like your favorite housewife show? Uh, I love Beverly Hills because I loved Lisa Vanderpump. You know, when Lisa Vanderpump came in, I remember I was like, I don't know who she is, but I like her and I feel a connection to her. Yes. And I'm like, Lisa is who I'm going to be one day. Like, I just loved, she just had her shit together and I loved it. I loved every, excuse my language, by the way. No, um, Sorry, sorry, You're sorry. Fine. You're fine. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, pull, yeah. No, I'm usually very polished, but you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, Lisa was like one of my favorites just because I felt like I could relate to her and right. I loved everything about her. Um, I know she's no longer on the show, so I don't know what happened. I know there was things, but again, I haven't watched in six years, so I'm right. kind of lost in that. But I did love um, 
I liked Orange County, but my favorite was Beverly Hills. I enjoyed Jersey. It was a little crazy for me, but I actually enjoyed them because I was, oh, what, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Atlanta was nice. Um, I didn't really get to get into Miami much. I saw like the first season and that was it. Right. Um, but yeah, like I know there's been a lot of new franchises. Uh, new York, I didn't keep up with. Dallas, I never got to see. But yeah, I would say like Orange County, Beverly Hills, Jersey, Atlanta, like years ago were the ones that I kept up. Oh my gosh, well, you have great taste. I love and it. And I love Kyle Richards too. So it's uh-huh. Lisa Vanderpump, Kyle Richards. So those two on the show, I was like, I just could relate to them. So yeah. That's like, that's like you and Caroline. You and Caroline are like the new Lisa and Kyle. Is really okay. Yes. I haven't heard that before. I love it. <laughs> That's a compliment. I'll take it. Uh huh. Absolutely. Well, also too, you are such a successful businesswoman, and I thought it was so interesting just looking at your Instagram. You kind of have your hand in a lot of different things. They're just oh my gosh. I don't. I don't know how you balance it all. But like, tell me a little bit about your 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 business. It's so interesting. Your the the. Yeah. And, and you see why I don't have time to watch TV, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so I have my fruitcake business that started over the pandemic. That was just, you know, a little idea that, you know, I really honestly just, you know, when you're sitting in the pandemic, you're just trying to think of what you're doing. But the idea came to me through a mutual friend of my husband's. So we started that. And then we also have Treehouse which is a huge family entertainment center for children. And it's kind of like a one of a kind in Dubai where kids can play, there's different activities. And then we have the lower ground, which like has all these different restaurants with different types of food. And, you know, parents, parents love being there just as much as kids do. So those are the projects where we have right now. And then my husband, who was like a serial entrepreneur, I always help him in the back end, you know, like, Right. Help him do research on things, um, help him put things together. You know, he does his thing and I do mine, but I've, I've always been that one like behind him, helping him do a lot of things. Um, but yeah, I should be getting more credit for that. He actually does. though. He, he actually does tell people like, you know, he always says, I'm only successful because of her. And I'm like, that's right. Say it louder. please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now they'll see it on the show every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I am I am very busy. And I sometimes think that, I don't know, maybe as I'm getting older, like my energy levels going down that I still want to go, but I have so many ideas in my head. Like there's so yeah. many things I do. Yeah. And I, I'm like spreading myself thin because I've already started working on something else. And I'm like, can I handle this? You know? And the thing is, I'm a full-time mom. Like when my kids yeah. are home, I'm home. I never leave my kids. It's so I try to cram everything before they're done with school. So it's a, it's a lot. It's a full day. It's a full day. Well, you know, and I don't want to scare you too, but I really do think that like after this debuts, you're probably going to get a lot busier because you you guys, you especially are such a star. I think people are just going to mm-hmm. absolutely love you. Absolutely love the show. And I thank you so much for just a couple minutes of your time today. Thank you, Mom. Thank Thank you. you. But I'm such a fan. I think you're great. And I'm so excited for the world to see the show. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. 